Hey, welcome to Generative Art with Flutter. Here's another cool effect that can be created quite easily. This one looks like you are getting the f out of there at light speed, zooming through the b I mean, planets and whatnot. Um, so this is quite easy to do. I said that already. Um, here we are in our usual code. First, we should create a particle at random point and set a velocity that would bring it to the origin. I'm setting the color to gray but you could set it to something that pleases you. We are setting the radius randomly, but with a minimum of 10, and then assign a random position that was created by this uh, utility function. If you're wondering where the hell that came from, please have a look at the early previous videos where I created these functions. Links are in the description. So I think this velocity computation needs a bit of an explanation. The velocity has a direction and a magnitude. First we create a unit vector, which means it has a magnitude of 1, or size of 1. Uh, and the direction is pointing towards the origin, which is 0, 0. That's why we have a minus in front. In order to create a unit vector, we divide it by its size, given by mag here. So now let's move the particle in the update function. This is quite basic. We just need to add the velocity vector to the position each time. And now you see that particles are moving towards the center. And like that bus you've been waiting for ages, it won't stop at the center, it will go past it because of the set velocity. We'll get back to that in a bit. Uh, now we create more particles. See, um, it created a lot of particles, but they move so fast you can't see them. So let's reduce the velocity by scaling it back with a small value. Uh, they all move towards the center and then go past it. So here I'm reducing the size of the circles when they move towards the center. That gives a nice pseudo perspective effect. Uh, now we are going to remove the particles when they get to a certain distance from the center. Great. Now the center swallows all the <laughs> The simulator sucks donkey but this runs correctly on the device. So I'm going to ignore these errors uh, for the moment. But if we finish here, then it's going to be a boring party. So let's create more particles after we remove them. Alternatively, you could just update the position, the velocity, the radius, and uh, the radius of the circle but that would be too efficient. Next, we're going to draw some lines connecting the circles to the center.
This gives a nice perspective effect. Well, not yet, because it looks rubbish now. But that looks like a porcupine. <laughs> That's... Let's fix that by correcting the position translations. There, better. Now you can see that the circles are created, lines are drawn and they all move towards the center and disappear. Now to improve the visuals, we can experiment with blend mode. What works best is the color burn. Another improvement we can make is to create the new particles outside our screen bounds. This can be done using this function, which is a simple variation of get random position. The simulator can't handle this much of awesomeness, unfortunately. So I will show you what it looks like uh, on an iPad. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and share the video uh, to support the channel. See you next time.